Hello guys, it is a beautiful day again on the Benjamin Zulu show and I'm telling you today is gonna be fiery. Why? Because we have a hot topic for the hot Benjamin, okay, in terms of content. Anyway, now you see, when it comes to relationship, we have various stages in which relationships are formed and also various stages in which relationships break up. And the last stage in breaking up is disintegration. Now, at the disintegration level, my dear viewers, realize that we are used to ladies parking and leaving. Okay? They will park and say, enough is enough. They leave the man there and they go. But what happens if we look on the flip side where a man parks and leave. Have you ever been caught in such a scenario? What did you think of that, by the way? Today, Benjamin is going to help you understand what it means if a man packs and leaves. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, and you know, it's true. We are used to, it's the woman who walks away. Yeah. In any case, she's the one who migrated. Yes. <laughs> she's the one who migrated to when gotten married and all that and we are used to that fact but now there's another phenomenon emerging in the modern era uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> where it's the man yes. who packs and goes uh, yeah. and one of the things you need to understand is this a man who the man is a leader is a man who constitutes who invites the woman who woos who pursues Come, we build a home. So the guy is the leader in the family. Mm -hmm. So we are discussing when the leader absconds. Yeah. When the leader walks away. Today we are discussing. That's, that's not expected. In the Bible we hear prodigal son. Mm -hmm. Not prodigal dad. Yeah. But now today we have prodigal fathers. Mm -hmm. Who themselves, they run away. Who did they leave the family with? I mean, what is happening here? Whenever a man walks out, it's because of two things. Mm -hmm. Either he is incapable, or you as a woman, you are impossible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right? Mm -hmm. I want to give you direct diagnosis <laughs> and treatment. <laughs> a man walks away because he's incapable of marriage. Mm -hmm. Let's repeat and say, maybe you married him because you've got a child. And you're saying, for a man to make you pregnant, all it takes is what? Biology. biology. Functional. He had good biology and you imagined. Now that he's a father. Becoming a father, dogs become fathers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Animals, father, others. Be, being able to sire a child make you pregnant requires nothing. Mm -hmm. In fact, people can make you pregnant without intending, without not even thinking. Th they just want some narcissistic. They just wanted to enter your life by all means. Even if it takes game making you pregnant, they're not even thinking about the child or playing the role of a father in that, in that child's life. They were not imagining where you're head. They were not prepared to do any journey there. They just wanted an entry into your life. Let me tell you the categories of men who are incapable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One is uh, bearded boys. The men who grow old without growing up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> men who are emotionally immature. Who have such bad tempers. They punish you by recoiling. When, when, when boys are angry, they throw feet. They roll on the floor and they kick. Mm. There are men who still do that. You know, you have grown men who kick on the floor. They even take a knife. I'm going to kill myself. You are threatening me. Yeah, yeah, I am man. Ask around. Women have been embarrassed <laughs> to see the father to the boy behaving like the boy. We have bearded boys who still draw fits, tantrums. Typically, like a five year old, and he's 50. Okay. brother the things happening behind the closed doors <laughs> <laughs> so there's that one who throws feet another one throws the feet by do you remember how when children were punished they pout they keep quiet and they draw yeah. mm. self-pity so the men who draw self-pity for weeks until the woman must come and massage his ego mm -hmm. so that he can feel better now <laughs> <laughs> because there was a quarrel or he was asked something there are people, there are men who are emotionally so immature. Any disagreement happens, there's tension in that house. Mm -hmm. This is a bearded boy and he can't stand the weight of marriage. Let me warn you before you get married. There's an unpleasant duty of being a husband. You can't remain angry and you're the one in charge of the steering. Wow. When something happens, you have to solve it quickly so that you come back to control. Are we together? Yeah. Brother, that is the hardest part. Mm -hmm. 
That is part of being a husband is not sweating. I know they have told you about sweating. And I can see you are sweating. <laughs> you are doing well there. <laughs> can give you a B minus. <laughs> So, but the other part, Brahma, is emotional. <laughs> to swallow your ego and come back to your position yeah. without waiting to be, oh, dad, sorry, we annoyed you, oh my God. Oh, annoyed dad now, please say sorry. Yeah. You can't remain angry as a father. Mm -hmm. In fact, God told us one of the attributes. This is a scripture I need to read and make use of it mm -hmm. to assist you. Where he, where he said, Take my yoke and learn from me. Yeah. He says, get yoked with me. Those mm -hmm. days, like today, we yoke two animals with one yoke so that they pull together. Mm -hmm. Imagine our Lord inviting you to pull together with him. When people to pull together, they are connected and they are close. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's how God wants to pull with you. But he said one thing. I am, I am, I am slow to anger, lowly, humble. A father should be, he told you to learn from me. Stay close and observe me and learn from me. Your father is slow to anger. As a dad, you must be slow to anger, quick to forgive. Does not mean you gloss over issues, but you can't remain angry and you're the one controlling this. Family is a team and you're the team leader. Now if the team leader is not talking, he's angry, he's quiet, we can't perform. Mm -hmm. The biggest role of the man is to swallow his ego. You feel a lamp on the throat and you swallow it. Take water if you must, but you must swallow that lamp. You're not allowed to give cold, mis uh, silent treatments. Okay, you have emotions, but control them. Once you sign up to be a father, you're not allowed to behave petty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pettiness belongs to the petty people in that home, the children. <laughs> okay. Don't behave small. <laughs> You're supposed to be the big one. <laughs> you quarrel with your wife and you go back to discussing the project. So where had we left it before? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you are discussing family matters. Where to take this kid to school? Which property to what? Which money? Where can we get this? And then in between that constructive uh, discussion, mm. a destructive argument came up. <laughs> When you're not fighting, you must force yourself to come back to the constructive discussion. Okay? Yes. <laughs> what does it take? A lot of emotional strength mm -hmm. to get it back. Because you are hurt. Maybe she said the things that made you feel like you're running mad. Mm -hmm. Women have that capacity. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. They may not hit you with a hand. <laughs> but they have alternative weapons. <laughs> Passive aggressive weapons that are extremely venomous. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Not all women, of course. We are just saying, just the way she's sweet when she's happy, she can also be very bitter, sour <laughs> when she's unhappy. Mm -hmm. So maybe you made her unhappy and she said some things that cut you. You can't leave what you were working together for months. Time goes, grace erodes, opportunities pass. When you marry, brother, prepare to swallow your ego. Right now, you don't have too many people pricking you. <laughs> <laughs> you can sort the landlord and get him out of your life. <laughs> And the boss, you know what the boss wanted. You, basically, when you are simple, your life is generally quiet. Yeah. Mm, generally. Sweet. <laughs> Peaceful. <laughs> when you get married, you get love, but you must also mature. Okay. You <laughs> must learn to get over issues and to do things when you are not in, a, in the mood. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. This man who packs and leaves because he has been annoyed. So they usually throw tantrums, quiet. Others run to other women. Mm -hmm. yeah. They run. Oh, you are stretching me out. Going, talk, talk. If you walk out, you are not, that man is not qualified to be. He's a bearded boy. He's not supposed to be your husband. Even if he has already fathered children, now you have seen. He's training children not to run away. Mm -hmm. Or how to marry other men who run away. The role model is disastrous. Don't keep him around. A man who walks away must never be invited back. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he will sow that kind of seed in your children. He will spread that. Remember, children don't follow your opinion. They follow your example. Yeah. <laughs> they don't follow your advice mm -hmm. as much as they follow your example. Show them the person you are tolerating. And that's what they will tolerate. That's what they will become. Mm, monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. <laughs> garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> Molding your children by the environment you are creating. Okay? Yeah. So he works out because he's childish. Cannot swallow his ego and solve issues. Another reason men walk away 
I told you that there are two types of men who cheat. Uh, there are men who are a wicked man in disguise. And a good man misguided. Exactly. A good man misguided. This man could have rushed, could have gotten himself already married. Or you yourself, men, when men want sex, they fake love. Okay? Yes. <laughs> when women want love, they fake sex. Yes. So, they might have come together with different purposes. The woman wanted love and marriage. The man wanted sex. Yes. <laughs> Then years went by, he realized he's getting sex, but he's getting sucked in. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting stuck. It's becoming a serious thing. Yes. There are men who run away because they realize it's becoming a commitment. Mm -hmm. There are men who say, we'll start living together, I'll take you home later. If you agree to that as a woman, you are selling on loan. And not all, not all debtors pay. Those yeah. who borrow don't always pay. Stop. Can you please don't say this. we are believing this man? Imagine we are married. He has never seen my people. I ask them, how can you say he has married you and he has never seen your people? Mm. What is the definition of marriage according to you? You sell on loan, my friend. You might have to 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 deal with the CRB and tell them how this defaulter yeah. <laughs> did what. Don't of all the things you are going to postpone and procrastinate. Don't postpone and procrastinate officializing your union. Mm. In fact, don't give yourself sexually. Don't get pregnant. Stand up until you meet the man who is ready to pay the price. Stay in the market until you meet the right people. Never, never at all, you shall not in any way and in any case um, risk. You know you are risking everything. Mm -hmm. Like you are throwing all your eggs in one basket and saying, I hope it goes well. What if it doesn't go well? One of the things you need to realize and, and understand is that there these men who run away because they realize it was getting serious and they were not prepared mentally for seriousness. Yeah. But men can have sex even when they are not thinking about marriage. Mm -hmm. To save yourself from being conned, don't give in to the sex. All right? Now, bearded boys. The other type I've told you is the men who got, who got too deep without being prepared to swim. They are not ready to go this far. All right? Mm -hmm. This is the last type of men who walk away. And the men who did not quite think about marriage, did not quite about think about fathering, mm -hmm. did not think about serious life, they never thought, they were not prepared to be disciplined. And you ask me why then the woman, the woman who marry men when they're already flirting the men and women. Mm -hmm. The women who are, imagine, they manage that level of foolishness. I don't know how they manage to pull it through. <laughs> <laughs> they keep saying, we are supposed to marry this year, we are going to my parade, but he's chatting in the running house. When I ask him, he mm -hmm. refuses. She can see all the red flags flapping there. He was not ready to get married, to get disciplined, and you showed that you can marry him even when he is not disciplined. disciplined. Later on, he realizes you are always quarreling about women and this has been his life. Mm, you're trying to change him. Mm. Yeah. You're asking him to tame his passions. To be a married man requires a heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a calling. Okay? Yeah. It requires you to focus, restrain your emotions, restrain your passions, and stay with one woman. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. It does not, it will not, you will never in any case be able to manage marriage if you are not ready to focus on one woman. So he runs away because he, you're forcing him to become who he is not. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. There's another man who runs away because society forced him to settle. The mother. Tell these girls who you start dating a guy and suddenly the family starts conducting him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because their son, they know their son is useless and you pro probably they want to organize him and give him an image. To rehabilitate him. Yeah. The second category of men, good men walk away. The first category was weak men and why they walk away. Now, why do good men walk away? Good men walk away when they realize the woman they married is impossible. Mm -hmm. mm. There's one who confessed. I was discussing that on Facebook and she told me, you know, I realize I've been so mouthy sometimes. I let out all my frustrations. When I let out, he's quiet. I wonder why he's quiet. I had I, I argue more. And I, I want him to give his opinion. And ta -ta -ta. So I realize he keeps telling me I'm harassing him, but I, me, I can't help it. I don't know. Now he walked out. I regret now. I want to repair my marriage. And I tell her, you know, even uh, a strong lion can be driven out of the cage by a chicken if the chicken makes enough noise. Yes. And the Bible says living in the same house with a contentious woman. Is like living on the corner of a roof. Mm -hmm. There are ways to solve issues without emotional ranting. 
There are ways to solve issues without having to shout, raise your voice, create tension, create chaos. You can talk in a calm manner. If you feel like you are, you are erupting volcano, you are the one who has problems. Mm -hmm. Go and get treated by therapy. That disease is destroying your destinies, destroying your family, destroying your life. That lack of, so there are women who we must run away from because they are impossible, angry, contentious, noisy, impossible. Yeah? The women to stay with them in one house is like, oh my God, what are you with here? So the men who walk out and he meant well. He tried to make it work because the woman is too contentious, chaotic, impossible to live with. Mm -hmm. right? There's a second type of women who might push you to walk away because they may not be raising voice, they may not be um outwardly aggressive mm -hmm. but they are emotionally manipulative the women who are so insecure she's into your phone she's suspecting you with this she's doing that she's her existence is so sick insecurity paranoia impossible to please pouting you know cold treatment the women who can go cold on you for days on end days on end they can punish you silently people don't hear banging of glasses but there's no love in that home man mm -hmm. it's only the ten kind of tension that you can cut it with a punk say so thick tension in the air man you come like you've come to cold war zone <laughs> <laughs> you come home there's no warmth no connection sometimes men live when the woman is cold blooded forget now cold heart some mm. people even the blood <laughs> <It's cold. laughs> fighter was called stone cold so some people are stone cold. Mm -hmm. So the women, the men who run away because they realize I'll die. <laughs> I stay here, I'll die. When the woman is chaotic, when the woman has bad anger tantrums, making noise relentlessly, or when she is cold and um, unaffectionate and distant, insecure, controlling. Why those people don't satisfy your needs? Why are they insecure? They know somebody else. You can seek for, from an, another place your desires to be met. Mm -hmm. So that's why they try to uh, you know, hold you. What is, the, what is the answer if, if a man walks away? Number one, evaluate the reason why he walked away. Get mm -hmm. to the real reason. You may need life coach, you may need therapy to establish the real reason. You know when you are caught up in the, in the dust, Bramwell, you may not have the right perspective. Yeah. When you are in the whirlwind, there have been quarrels, there have been tensions, there have been you may not, may not, you may not ascertain. So don't jump to action. Mm -hmm. Don't assemble the clan to reconcile you. Mm -hmm. You heard of what we lost. We lost a good athlete. A drop. Stabbed yeah. by a knife. So far it's a suspected that the boyfriend, not even official husband, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> husband, you know, there has been division differences and people try to reconcile them. The news are saying these people, there were always problems. She goes back. She has been winning gold and then she's killed. Don't bring, when a man walks away, even when a woman walks away, don't bring the family to reconcile. Mm -hmm. People know what they want and they know what, when they are not safe. Yeah. When, don't, when they don't feel safe with you, they feel, they know, they know why they're running away. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't run after the person. Don't call a clan. Seek for the root of the reason. Mm -hmm. And you may not even ask the person directly. By evaluating the situation with the help of a co with a person who has insight, who has live insight, like a life coach or counselor or therapist or a friend who knows these matters and has wisdom of life, they can give you the answers. Once you find the answer, if you find that the person ran away because, although they are complaining, oh, you never hear me, oh, you never, maybe he ran away because he realized you can come. This man was never ready for marriage. You can connect dots from the word go mm -hmm. that you had to push him to, to start living together, push him to pay fees, push, 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 suddenly you, he was never prepared. Mm -hmm. You had to harass him to do it. He was not ready for it. The problem with, uh, the problem with this kind of men is they may never tell you exactly what happened, mm -hmm. but if you assess it, you come to see it. Now, if you realize mm -hmm. he ran away because he was never prepared, blame yourself for, never, for not having seen these signs earlier, for mm -hmm. maintaining hopes that things will get better, for keeping investing, 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 thinking th this will change anything, mm -hmm. all right? Um, the other aspect you need to realize, the other aspect about men that you may not uh, see, the people they are keeping, the men who keep the company of men who have no families, yeah. who have walked away themselves, who have married second women, third women. I told you, for me, polygamy is an escape man. People marry another woman to avoid the responsibility mm -hmm. from the first one. Mm -hmm. And to keep them afraid that if I don't treat him right, he'll go to the other one. 
people marry many women to escape, man. There's no reason to escape. To escape. So once you realize um, the people he keeps, the ideas he's absorbing, the behavior he's adopting, the mindset is absorbing, you, you cannot force him. Ask women, tell women to stop asking this question. How can I deal with this man who does? What can I do with a man who? You can't change people. You can't deal with them a particular way. You can only uphold your standard and let him choose whether to stay in your life or to leave. Mm -hmm. If you find that the reason has to do with you, you, you're the one who is impossible to live with. You're toxic. You're chaotic. You're wrapped like volcano. If you find you are the problem, seek therapy and seek therapy for yourself. Mm -hmm. If you start healing, he may come back or he may say, it's okay, I can no longer trust us. You, what you do, go on with your life. Change for yourself. The same way, if people walked out on you and they say, now I have changed, tell them change for yourself. Self. <laughs> Let me do my life. Yeah. For the sake of our children, be there for your children. I'll do my life, you do your life. Never marry because of children. Never stay in marriage because of children. Mm -hmm. Never. The children don't benefit from that kind of marriage. Where there is no love, where there is no connection, where there is no sincerity, no unity. It's because you are forcing because of situation. Mm -hmm. Parent differently. Children would rather you parent from distance when there is peace at home. Mm -hmm. Than to force yourself to stay together and you're quarreling and chaos. Children grow up disoriented about that marriage. Disoriented about life. So the thing is, once you realize you're the, you the one with a problem, seek solution. The solution I'm going to seek will not always involve, and let me correct quickly, restore, change for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because when people change quickly to bring you back, they may not, it may not come from inside. Yeah. They may hurry it or they put on a behavior mm -hmm. that they think you want. Assess the situation honestly. And Bromwell, can I end by warning, surprising you that many marriages could have been saved if we changed on time? Exactly. Yes. Invest in the change you need. Spend the money or in pay what you need to pay to get the right kind of mindset, to get the right kind of life, to get the right kind of, to, 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 to say. And be before people walk out, they have always warned you. Genuine people don't just wake up and go. They have warned you severally. This is not good. This is not good. Invest in life coaching. Invest in counseling. Invest in what you need to do to get the right kind of personality, the change you require. Yes. I like that, Benjamin. And you see, Talking about men walking out, you'll realize that in as far as marriage has phases or different seasons that they go through one season to the other, we have transitions. Exactly. And for marriage to work, Benjamin, all these transitions will be there. You're right. We must be ready to manage those transitions. You're right. For instance, you'll realize that maybe someone lost a parent mm. so they have been having a hard time to transition to manage that transition of a loss exactly and as a partner i feel that i was there for my lady mm. in her thinking she says bramwell your enough was not just enough You're right so she feels that i don't love her enough that brings emotional fatigue mm into our marriage that was doing well then all of a sudden we start tearing apart mm. then it reaches at a place where she says brahman i call it quit that's right you know what what you're describing is very there are people who after loss after grief maybe a miscarriage sometimes yeah. a loss that is very personal usually they lost a very important parent yes. or a, a pregnancy that or a child, people can start drifting away because yeah. of a, something that had nothing to do with the both of them. Yeah, exactly. It was an unfortunate occurrence in life. Why? In the wake of that loss, in the wake of that, in the wake of that grief and uh, that thing that hit them, the person started seeing that you are not there enough for me. Mm -hmm. But normally you must learn how to love people in their own language. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe she would that she would have thought you are there with her if you if you take her to the matanga every day. Yeah. You accompany her to the home. Mm -hmm. You, you thought, it's taking care of the children while you go. Mm -hmm. You, you thought, it's taking over all the duties while you go. But you say, you're not even here with me. I'm here alone. You see misinterpretation. Yes. When you enter unfamiliar territories where you're processing grief, ask her, uh, would you like me to take you? Aki, if you can, please. You will sense it. Mm -hmm. You keep, try to ask, what can I do? What can I do? You may not do everything. Mm -hmm. But by just 
trying, that attempting, you can get to know what means most to her. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes you are accompanying her and she's thinking you're not giving her space enough to be with her people. <laughs> to cry with her people. Yeah. During periods of loss, change, adjustments, people, sometimes women when they lose something that is personal, they don't see us grieving enough. Mm -hmm. Like we do not feel the loss. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> That's what they say. They expected you to be crying every day. Mm. And you cried inside. <laughs> Men are crying. <laughs> you know, have you gone to church and women express themselves very emotional? Mm -hmm. When they see, when they watch you, they give you funny instructions. Love God now, love God now. If somebody asks you to love Jesus, what are you going to do? <laughs> Can you break down your instructions to specifics? <laughs> so <laughs> to them, love is a verb. To us, it's okay. Um, <coughs> what uh, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> so, one guy was new to church and he heard them say, let's go before God now, let's go before God. And he's opening his eyes to see which direction they are going. <laughs> that he can follow them. <laughs> the, so you go to church, you see the difference between communication of female and male. Mm -hmm. Expression. Yes. And it's very beautiful to see how ladies pour their heart out. And you may think men are not serious because they are not very outwardly active. <laughs> a lot of activity <laughs> okay you may not see a lot of tears or gestures or you know generally the male club <laughs> hey. it doesn't look to be swimming so deep <laughs> and i tell you some of them are even deeper than those ladies uh -huh. i've been in church and i can tell you the truth I used to think I'm not spiritual enough because I'm not doing the way they're doing yes. it. <laughs> when a lady wants to pray for school fees or for a child who is sick, you hear them spiral up there and, you know, get caught up and express and, you know. And then the guy is given the next prayer item. <laughs> and he makes it, God, you know where we are in this situation. We believe you for this, you know, this rent or this house. And we believe you are going to do it. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, ladies want the lady was just warming up. You know, the ladies will, will give you backup. You are the one supposed to pray. And you hear her preparing a backup. <laughs> she was not done igniting her backups. <laughs> you are the back. <laughs> so, sometimes, Bramwell, it's, 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 women wanted to see us crying over the laws or expressing... Men, we can express and be very sincere without looking emotionally caught up. Mm -hmm. Let ladies allow us to be us. Mm -hmm. Does not mean that all men are the same or we must. No, majority of men I know, we can be as sincere as we can. Mm -hmm. And we are still not crying with the tears. Yeah. We feel the loss as much. Mm -hmm. But I think our, <coughs> is it our culture or our biological store of tears? <laughs> <laughs> but. I think our <laughs> reserves <laughs> are very stingy. <laughs> they don't release too many tears <laughs> too frequently. But it's to say, men are simply, TDJX wrote a book called He Motions. Mm -hmm. say me, men say we are not emotional. Women say we are not emotional. I say we are He Motion. Emotion. So it's like we are male version of expressing emotions. Don't blame your man for not having grieved enough, felt you enough. Just because you did not see him roll on the floor, cry, lift hands, shout. That may not be the way men we express ourselves. Mm -hmm. Learn your man. You can always know the, the body language he has when he's sad. You can master how he, he means when he's sincere. You can tell when he's deeply into the moment, even without tears and shouting. Mm -hmm. Learn that man. Men have a language, generally as men, but each man has other unique ways mm -hmm. they express their emotions. Learn your man. Learn your man. Talking about learning your man, Benjamin, we also have these couples who have been together in marriage for so long, 32, 36 years. Then all of a sudden, in their old age, the man decides to walk out. How can you describe that? The, sometimes people break off because they were not together for love, they were together for parenting, mm -hmm. they were together because of poverty. 
Can you imagine poverty can keep people together? <laughs> Lack of money denies people options. <laughs> True. So there are people who stayed with you because they had no options. Nobody else wants them. Yeah. They can't afford a life out there alone. The day they get enough money to afford their life out alone, thank you. <laughs> so they were never genuine. They were never honest. They were here for the wrong reasons, and the reasons have run out of time. Mm -hmm. The people come to get money, or you stop giving them the money, or circumstances change. So people walk later in life, either because finally their true motives have, have expired, or they have put up with you so much, yeah. they realize they are dying. You, yourself, you are impossible. They are walking out to stop dying, mm. to stop <laughs> premature death. To, they are running away from death. <laughs> okay? Yeah. There are people, when you hear until death do us part, the one you're connecting to will bring the death. Hmm. <laughs> okay? <laughs> They're both the partner and the death. <laughs> so, sometimes once you realize this person is taking me to an early grave, man. Brahma, let me repeat. I would rather hear you divorce than to hear you die. Yeah. Brother, I would rather hear you walked out than to hear now we have to bury you. Mm -hmm. have to talk at your you, you uh, bury you giving, saying, this guy we were friends, no? Mm -hmm. People keep saying, ah, you know, don't encourage divorce. I, that, at the least, we lost. Imagine. Because people keep telling you, go back, mm -hmm. go back, go back. Save your life, bro. Save your life, and as long as you're with God, you will always make it. Yeah. You don't need one person, you don't need a person who is harassing you. Yes. Good. And then, <coughs> remember, most of these uh, young men and women we are talking to are actually getting your advice very seriously and now we are shaking all those beliefs that we grew up holding on to number one is marriage is a do or die now maybe that there's that lady down there or that woman who is in this particular situation benjamin and the man has gone and she has done everything she can and she still feels benjamin i still have to fight for my marriage when you fight for your marriage you're supposed to be the two of you fighting the two of you fighting. That's how you fight for your marriage. Mm -hmm. When the other person ignores you, you don't fight for a vacuum. Mm -hmm. You are alone. If a person abandons you for months, maybe they are away. person who forgets about you, who is making a dry call once a week mm -hmm. or a text so, and has neglected you. There's no marriage there. Mm -hmm. That's a show. So fighting for your marriage means we are together, we are soldiering against challenges, we are raising our children, we are looking, building finances, we are building, dealing with this. When you are together now, yeah, that's how you fight for your marriage. Mm -hmm. But if the person has abandoned you or has changed against you, they're no longer for you, they're trying to harass you, that's not fighting for marriage, there you might be fighting for an early grave. Mm -hmm. Don't stay loyal to a vacuum. You're loyal as long as they're loyal. There's no do or die if you're only alone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, and then you've talked about they keep on telling you, stop doing this, stop. Those are the so-called the red flags, right? That yes. this guy is on the verge of disappearing. But again, you realize that as human beings, we have the tendency of also loving or tending to love the so-called red flags. We start rationalizing. We minimize them so that we can maintain hope. Exactly. We want hope that there is future. Yeah. That I can change. You mm. know, if, 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 a person, if a person is not cut out for marriage, there are people who don't have the qualification to be a husband. Exactly, husband. yeah. There are those who keep advocating for polygamy, side chief. They don't have the character to be a husband, mm -hmm. brother. So if the person keeps telling you, men are inherently polygamous, mm. that person has no mindset for marriage. Mm -hmm. You underestimate that so that you can maintain hope that you can change him. Yeah. You are the one who is wrong. He showed you who he is from the word go and you refused mm -hmm. to believe it. Mm -hmm. Never marry a man who does not express a belief in monogamy. Mm -hmm. Because belief determines behavior. Mm -hmm. Yes. Belief determines behavior. Don't ignore, all right? Whatever you see, dear lady, dear gentleman, take all these things into consideration. Because as we always said, remember, when it comes to matters, marriage, when it comes to matters, dating utmost rationality and as men the direction of your marriage will depend on the direction you take thank you for watching the benjamin zulu show till next time